Welcome to Simply Airsoft. This is the Umarex HK MP5A5, OEM'd by VFC. Out of all the airsoft guns I own, personally, this is my favorite gun to run, and it's a gun that I run 90% of the time I play airsoft. It has a perfect full metal upper receiver and a polymer lower receiver, which don't turn away from something like that because the real steel MP5s have that same exact design. On top of the full metal upper receiver is H&K Trades and a unique serial number unique to every single MP5 that you get. This is an A5 model, so it has the retractable stock. Metal where it counts, but it does have a polymer butt plate. It does have a different handguard right here. Usually MP5s have a triangular handguard, more of the traditional kind of thing. This one has a round one that's big enough to hold a 9.6 volt nunchuck small type battery, so that fits just fine in there, and it works really well with this gun. I recommend using nothing lower than the 9.6 volt battery. But don't use an 11.1 volt battery, because after shooting one in this gun for about 5 minutes, the motor got really, really hot, so I don't recommend that. Right here we have a functioning charging handle, which reveals our hop-up unit, and we have an adjustable peephole sight that are, that's full metal right here in the back and the front. One of the best things about this gun is if you move to the front right here, it has a threaded orange tip which will take a 14mm negative thread suppressor, flash hider, um, muzzle, flare, any of that stuff it'll take. Alright, I know what you're thinking and I don't blame you. You're looking at this MP5 and you're thinking, come on bro, it's, it's just a full metal MP5A5 with a different handguard and a threaded orange tip. No, this isn't that. What makes this MP5 different from the rest is this one has three round burst. The three round burst on this gun is accomplished by the version 2 VFC gearbox. The gearbox is fully upgradable, but the FPS on its own is pretty high and pretty good, so I don't really see any reason for upgrading it. The only thing you would be doing it to it if you had to would be downgrades if the FPS was too high because I do know some indoor fields don't allow any guns that go over 350 but outdoor th this is perfect that FPS is great. This gun is fully compatible with any kind of MP5 accessory you might get but then that's when you get to the magwell. The magwell on this gun and the A4 model that you can also get is really really tight and only fits its proprietary mag and the one it comes with and Umarex high caps and mid caps I was able to fit in there. Uh, I haven't tested the drum mag that goes in this and if you'd like to you can but I'm not entirely sure if that one would fit. I bought some matrix mags for this gun and those did not fit at all. This magwell is too tight for that so be careful and look around for the mags that you get for this gun because it is really tight. This is a fantastic gun. I love it. I highly, highly recommend you get this gun if you're looking for a high-end gun or you love MP5s as much as I do. Keep in mind though, because it's a high-end gun and most beginners usually don't get something like this, if you are a beginner and you do want to get this gun, it does not come with a battery or a charger, so that's something you're going to have to get later. But like I said earlier, I recommend you use a 9.6-volt battery with it. It runs really well, it shoots pretty fast, and it's the best for the 3-round burst. So that was this review, guys. Thanks for watching Simply Airsoft. If you like this video, click the like button, and if you want to see more from us, click subscribe. We have so much more to show, game footage, reviews. Stick around, guys.